Hi everyone, this is for the grad students uh, in 817. Uh, this one uh, tutorial is going to be focused on using Lumion. Now, one of the things you're going to need to do if you're using Lumion is to actually go back and look at either the Rhino or the SketchUp tutorial that's posted, and I will make sure you have access to that as well because Lumion, uh, although it does have some tools for manipulating landform, it can't do that with landform that's brought in from another source. You can only do it with its natural kind of integrated terrain, which is kind of limiting since you have to really create all the geometry outside of Lumion. So I'll walk you through the process of uh, we're going to start Lumion right now. I'm going to show, uh, give you a little overview of the interface and then we'll import this graded site. So this is one of the ones, this is the site I used for the SketchUp tutorial. It already has the building platforms kind of leveled out. And then we'll also import the apartment building and the townhouse so we can add that uh, into uh, the master plan once we get that image in there. So to start with, I, and I, I decided not to start with it open just so you can understand. I've got Lumion 9 here. I'm going to open that. <laughs> and this is available on the fourth floor computers nearest the water tower and also I believe it is installed on the grad computers. Their performance is a little more limited but uh, I would encourage you to use the computers on the on, on the fourth floor pod near the uh, water tower side because they have a little better performance. So when you start Lumion you're going to get this what background do you want and there's some demos here. Let's just choose the plain background because we're going to actually create the context for our site through this. But before we do that, let's take a look at the basic interface. Lumion 6 is new. Uh, it's, it's a little bit of a switch for me. The interface changed a little bit. But one of the things that remain the same is that we have objects, materials, landscape, and weather. Those are the four kind of groups of elements that you'll deal with in Lumion. I think the improvements to the interface actually are quite good, uh, makes it a little more intuitive, and we'll talk about that as we go through this. Uh, the other thing you have in Lumion, you can see our background here, right-clicking orbits the camera, turns the camera. So Lumion's based on a camera kind of uh, based approach to setting views, which is kind of more like Rhino, I think, but uh, than SketchUp. But if you hold the uh, O key down, now I can orbit around a point in the world. If you want to accelerate either of those, you hold the shift key down, you move in a little faster, out a little faster. And what you'll notice is when, when we start bringing in the context for our site, like a couple mile radius around the South Atherton site, it will, when you're zoomed out, Lumion really slows down. So I'll show you a way to kind of focus on an object we can double right click and kind of zoom in on, it, on an object itself and then back off a little bit. So I'm not, there actually is a, a live sync that you can use with Lumion. Uh, uh, SketchUp version has been out for a while with Lumion 6. It also has live sync with Rhino, but in this particular case at the schematic level, I think it's better just to bring in the, bring in the landform as an export. So if you want to do the landform in Rhino, then just save the site itself, uh, save that out. You can select it and do export selected as a Rhino file and bring that in. Like I said, I'm using a SketchUp file, but it would work exactly the same for Rhino. So both of those tutorials will be available for you. Take a look at the front part, how you create that landform, adjust it, uh, and you can decide which one you want to start with. But once you've got the site regraded, then you can bring it in. You don't need the buildings. We can import those separately. Okay, so the way this works, generally we've got, let's uh, maybe take a look at the weather tab. This is how we set the sun height. Uh, we can decide, let me rotate down a little bit. We can adjust how cloudy the day is. And you can adjust the cloud types. So again, that affects the lighting and the environment of the scene. And you can adjust the brightness of the sun. Uh, we have this in the northeast. Uh, for us, let's say it's southwest. That's probably an afternoon with a relatively high sun angle. That'll give us some good shadows. The landscape, we're not going to deal with much right now because we're not manipulating the natural landform, but it gives you tools for raising, lowering, 
flattening, etc. But it really just works on this ground plane, which I'm not going to uh, demonstrate in this tutorial. Materials becomes important later on in the process, phase three. Right now, uh, we may adjust a couple materials, but uh, we're going to bring things in with the materials already on them, so we shouldn't have to worry about that. What we really are going to focus on are objects. So we'll import some objects, but then we also have, uh, if we switch from select to place, choose the category, nature, you can see we've got lots of different trees, plants, pages of these that we can place in here. <clears throat> and we'll get back to this and explain. So when I pull that out there, pick a tree, can bring that out and place that anywhere I want. You see you get this X and Y axis prompt and it always is going to be located on the surface. All right, so for starters, the first thing we want to do, uh, oh, one more thing. We have a several, a couple different environments, several different environments. This is the build environment, little guy with a shovel. We have photo, movie, and 360 panorama. This is for opening, closing, saving files, and this is the settings. Uh, right now, we're going to stay in the build. One of the things that, that I use the photo for, it allows you to apply effects to render, but it also allows you to change the focal length of the camera, which um, just works a lot better. The focal length, by default, in Lumion is really wide, super wide angle lens. And it's great if you have a wide format screen like I'm recording this on, but there's times where it's not really the kind of typical view you would have. So I'll show you how to uh, switch into photo mode and then do build in photo mode. But for right now, since we're starting, let's keep it in build mode and then we'll switch to photo mode a little bit later. Navigation, the wheel of the mouse zooms in and out. Right click, pivots the camera, turn the camera to the left, turn the camera to the right. If you use the mouse button, it pans up, down, left, right. If you want to accelerate that, hold the shift key down, the button, button uh, accelerates actually all the things, whether you're zooming, panning, rotating the camera. Okay, so middle wheel, zoom, hold the wheel button, pan, right click, rotate the camera, and then that O option, if we hold the O key down, it actually orbits around uh, the center point. So we're not moving the camera anymore. We're actually orbiting the world. I'll try to remind you of that as we go through this. Now, since we're one of the features that uh, Lumion has is uh, a connection to OpenStreetMap data. So instead of bringing that kind of rectangular site in, that if you, when you watch the SketchUp or Rhino tutorials, you'll see, I going to use the OpenStreetMaps to bring in the context. So I'm going to go to the Landscape tab, click on OpenStreetMap. And first thing you do is this kind of standard interface in Lumion. You're going to turn it on, tell you that it's a beta version and it's kind of connecting out to the internet. Okay. And then I'm going to click on my little target here. So right now it's defaulting to, you know, somewhere in Northern Europe. but we want to move to State College. So I'm going to click on the search, State College, Pennsylvania, United States of America. Select that, close it. And then we'll kind of center that on our map and zoom in a bit. It takes a little bit to redraw the screen so we can see the context. But. We're going to move that I think this is our site right over there move that to the center zoom in a little bit all right so that is our site <coughs> right here so I'm going to center that kind of in the middle zoom out a little bit and then use the map range here. And I'm going to pull that out to get kind of the maximum map range we can, which gives us that much context. Click Start Download. So this pulls in streets, buildings. Um, it, it, the OpenStreetMap data actually does have terrain, but unfortunately in, in uh, Lumion, it uh, doesn't show that terrain. It comes in pretty much flat. You can click on the Edit and adjust, again, the appearance. 
if you want to randomize building heights, set a minimum height, but we really don't have to do too much for this right now. I'm just going to click OK. So here's a case where I'm going to hold the O key down, orbit it up, zoom out, hold the Shift key down to zoom a little faster. The bigger area you have in Lumion, the slower it kind of zooms around. But uh, So there's our site right in here. You can see that. If I hold the O key down to right click, I can orbit around that. So although this isn't uh, uh, accurate in terms of its train, at least it gives us a little context when we start taking views. So now that I've got that in there, I'm going to switch back to objects and import new model. And I have uh, the graded site. So this is just the site boundary. I did this in SketchUp, but you can import it from uh, Rhino as well. Uh, it supports a bunch of different formats. So I'm just going to click OK. Uh, it's created site, category folder, import edges. For this, I'm going to leave that off later when you want the buildings. You might want to turn the edges on. It's a new feature of Lumion 6 that can actually bring edges in, which is kind of nice. Click OK. Take a little time to process the model. And there we go. I've got it and kind of lining it up with the edges. And again, once it's placed, I can do that. I might not have gotten it perfect, but that's OK. One thing I find with the O is orbit. Uh, if sometimes if you point the view down, point the camera down, and then select that, it actually works a little better. Hold the Shift key down. All right, I'm going to hold the O down, right click, zoom in. And I'm just trying to figure out exactly whether I have it in the right place or not, right elevation. Now you can see because the, the site is elevated and the context isn't, what I want to do is come in here and kind of locate this as close as I can to the edge of the road here. So if I go back down here and choose Select, and choose move up. When I pick that, you have to zoom out and actually look for this little dot here. This is kind of the handle, so I can move this down. You can see now it starts diving into the landform. So I'm going to take it down to about there, and that's pretty close. Okay, so I've brought the site in. Um, I can zoom around and kind of see the context. I'm going to take air, more aerial views or views from within the site. I can actually double click with my right mouse button and that kind of zooms me in and that allows me to get down into the site. And then there's an option up here to set the camera at 1.6 meters above the surface. So wherever I am right now, that's where I just got located. All right, so option click, zoom out a little bit for right now. Now, uh, Lumion does have layers for this, probably not super critical, but you can come in here and uh, right now that's all on the same layer. If I want to add some, click on layer two, let's call this uh, apartments. And we'll click on this, call that townhouses. Not absolutely necessary, but um, if I select that as the active layer, now I'm going to import my apartments. So in that case, I go to the import model, uh, click on this again, and I believe they're in here. There's my apartment building. Uh, the new version of Lumion does support um, the new version of SketchUp, so you shouldn't have any trouble with that. Apartment building. Okay, since I've done this before, it says this model name already exists. I will just rename that to. And I'm going to turn the edges on for this just so you can see how that works. So now you can see it actually has the edges of that building. So I'm going to hold the O down, rotate around, move in here. And hold the center mouse button down, the shift key. 
one of the nice things about Lumion as you place this, you can hold the R key down, click it in there, it rotates it into place, tap the move key, move that, and then it rotates it right into place. Pick that again. So it's probably easier just to go in. Actually, I don't really have to do this now, so I'm going to cancel this. Now that I have it in, I can go to Imports, choose Place, and I've got that in my list right here. You'll see a, a list of all the options. So I'm just going to pick that and probably just put that at each of these places. Sometimes it's a little slow zooming in and out. So I'm going to right click and I'm going to zoom out from there. That just gets me in a little closer, kind of refocuses. All right, let me put this one there, 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 there. Okay, now I'm going to choose the rotate. Just rotate, and as I start doing this, I can tap the M for the move and then move it into place. Tap R for rotate, M for move, move that into place, and it's always keeping track of R for rotate, M for move, all right, move, R for rotate, you just use those keyboard shortcuts. M for move. Still want to move. R for rotate. M for move. R for rotate. M for move. Okay, so now we've got those townhouses kind of dropped in there where they're supposed to be. Now, this is these are landforms that I didn't adjust in the original SketchUp model. I didn't do anything with those, and that's why you can see they don't really fit. So let's go ahead and go to place. We're going to get our townhouse model, and we're going to drop that into place there. And there, there. Okay, just drop those kind of on the center of where they're at. Hold the O key down, orbit around. Now I'm going to go down to my move and rotate. So I'll rotate this around, hit M for move, drop that into place, R for rotate. M for move. R for rotate, M for move, R for rotate, M for move, get that placed, R for rotate, M for move, R for rotate, M for move. Okay, so now if I come back down in here and look at those, they should look a little bit better, right? They're kind of sitting on the landform. Again, if O isn't working, kind of rotate around. Looks pretty good. And if they're not quite fitting, if for some reason, you can select one of these objects. Go back down to select. Select it, come over here to this uh, option, and you can say place on ground. So that will make sure it's dropped. Select it, place on ground. Select it, click on that, place on ground. Okay, so that's a way to drop those down. And again, you can see I you have to really do this um, ahead of time because if you don't, you can see how those really fit in quite nicely. 
but these are kind of floating. Now I can select that. Not that one. Try the O here. Zoom out. Select that. Place on ground. It's going to drop it, but it's hitting the upper point there, so it's not going to drop it down at this end. Uh, again, either in Rhino or SketchUp, you need to fix that before you proceed any farther. You cannot adjust that in Lumion. It's not really designed to build geometry, but it does a great job of placing elements in there. So once you've got the buildings placed, I can turn this off and on. So I had that active when I placed all of these. So if I go through here, hold the shift key down, control key, I can select all of those. and move those to that layer. So now I can turn the apartments off and on, turn the townhouses off and on. And not absolutely necessary for this, but if you want to organize it that way, that works pretty well. OK, now that we have the buildings in there and we've got them separated on the layers, we want to add vegetation. And that's what Lumion excels at. So if we go down here to Objects, we're going to choose Place. And then we're going to pick our category, which is Nature. So you can see there's, I've picked broadleaf trees, uh, category four. There's one that has kind of a high canopy. And I can start by just placing that individually wherever I want. I can also do a mass placement with a line. So I could pick this, say, OK. Now, if I want to add another line, I hold the Control key down and just work my way around the corner. OK. And now you see I've got this dialog box here. I can randomize the direction. I can increase the number of items. I can randomize the spacing, which if you want regular tree tree plantings, you don't really want to do. I can also randomize offset from the line if I want to make that bigger. But in this case, I'm just going to keep them along the line. and force it on the landscape so it connects, and then just click OK. So I've just placed those in there all along the street. Now, if you want to do more than that, there are other options. So the first option, uh, the sec other option is a cluster. Well, let me show you the line. You could also do a bigger line. <clears throat> I could click on this. Put that in there and then add this randomized offset from the line. Increase the number of objects and create actually a big force them on the landscape and create a big patch there. I also have the option to use cluster placement. And if you can see it, there's little dots in there that shows when I click, if I hit the shift key, it changes the cluster a little bit each time. OK, and it's always going to place those right down on the landform as well. So super quick way to add plants in Lumion. And then you can just rotate your view around. If you want to get rid of a tree, what you need to do is choose the category that you, or an object that you want to select. Come in here and say, OK, I've got that selected. You can hit Delete, come back and click on that, and it will eliminate that one. So if we rotate around. Zoom in a little bit. You can see that we can get a nice cluster. Now, if you're placing plants as a group, you're not limited to a single plant. So if I choose place, cluster, let's add another oak. So if I go to the mass placement, I can place it in there. You can see now I have the uh, both types of trees. And I can delete one if I want, uh, but I can keep both of them. And it will add uh, a blending of those. So you don't have to have a single planting. You can also come in and select those. And if you're, let's place this in there. If I decide, well, I like these trees here, but I want them a little bigger, I can select that. 
come up to my menu and say, so find, sorry, select all identical objects. And then I can choose scale. And I can scale those up or down all at one time. Okay, so that's uh, that's some options in Lumion, and I can then deselect all of those. Really quick, real-time ability to rotate around these trees. Still see the context in the background. And if you want to take a view, let's spin around here maybe, get down close to eye level, I can click on my camera, set it 1.6 meters above that surface, and there I am. Okay, so I can rotate, or I can just rotate my camera around, get the angle that I want, set the camera, and there I am. Now Lumion also has cars and people, so if I go to my objects, transport, place, oh, let's see, here's cars. Oh, I'm on the last placement mode, so, okay. Let's just put a whole bunch of cars in at once. If I want to move that, I can spread that out a little bit. I can reduce the number of items. And I can also select individual ones if I want to. But if I want to go back to, let's leave those there. I'll go back to placing, but I'll just choose single placement. And I'm going to rotate. Take that around. And if I want a different color, just come up here and select that. Make that one blue. And again, kind of orbit down here at the ground view. If I want to switch to people. I want to choose place, people. And you can put people in along the sidewalk. Now, you'll notice that they look like they're kind of walking in place. That's because Lumion supports animated people that move through a space. And uh, But when you look at them in a still view, they just seem to be walking in place. And that's a lesson for another day. I can show you how to create those animations. Now, what I mentioned about the uh, photo view. So if I go to photo view, you can see that the focal length right now is really low, which is very wide angle. SketchUp uses a 35 millimeter angle. So if we set that down, now we're getting a little better view. And we can still model. So I can choose Build with Effects. So now I've got that uh, different focal length that gives me more like a 50 millimeter camera view. And I can come in here and drop down to eye level and actually look at that. With a, with a little less distortion because I don't have such a wide angle view. Okay, so that's how you place elements in, uh, in Lumion. And uh, it really gives you a really quick way. You can explore the different, uh, if you hit place and trees or whatever the categories, <clears throat> if you want some evergreens in there or clusters, uh, conifers, it's got lots of different, I think there is actually a white pine in here. Just scroll through the different, uh, the different categories until you, find the one you want there and place it in your model. So it's pretty uh, intuitive. Uh, again, navigation, zooming in and out with the wheel, right mouse button, changes the camera direction, hold the O down, right mouse button, it orbits around. And uh, you can see the buildings here have the lines. You don't need to have those, but for a schematic plan, it's kind of maybe works a little bit better to see the lines on those. And you're not restricted to those buildings. You can build your own, export them as a Rhino file, or export them as a SketchUp file, and you'll be able to import them into Lumion as objects. But again, remember, the key is you need to adjust the landform before you bring them into Lumion. You won't be able to adjust this landform in here, but you will be able to then take some views and at least have some of the context. If you want to see what does it look like from uh, you know, my entrance space and holding the shift key brings you in a little more and there's our building right in the entrance there so you can kind of see that that's definitely affecting that but you can 
zoom right in there and get an idea of what's going to look like as you approach that your community from that angle. Okay, hopefully that helps. If you need some other uh, additional help on the kind of the details of Lumion, let me know, but uh, hopefully that'll be enough to get you started.